everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards, and it is Friday, and what does that mean? What happens on Friday? I cannot remember. What do we do? Dorking with dice! Oh, thank you. I never can remember what we do on Fridays. I'm Wait so a glad. minute. But what? That makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense because if you always forget, how do you remember to put this out? I, I, I thought you put this out. No. You didn't put this out? No. Uh huh. I don't know. Maybe maybe Grogu put it out. Grogu has mystic Jedi powers. You never know what, what one of those guys is going to do. Well, yeah. Yeah. We all know that. So anyway, dorking with dice. That's what we're doing today. Are you sure? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's what we're going to do. Pack Opening Machine says it is Friday and is dorking with dice day. So here we go. How does it work? Do you want to explain it or should I explain it? I'll explain it. Excellent. So, well, we have this dice and it has 20 numbers on it. On it, And there are 20 packs in this box. And in the 1, 10, and 20 spot, there are special packs. And we roll it, and whatever number we land on, that's the number of pack we get. I, I'm in awe. That is so much better than the ridiculous explanations that I give on Fridays. You're, you're hired. This is your job from now on. Give the explanations for dorking with dice and help me and assist me. You're the pack opening machine, but what do you do on dorking with dice days? What do you also do? The pack rolling machine. Yes, that's right, because you roll the die that tells us which of these 20 packs we get to open. And, and that's all there is to it. The pack opening machine, really, I don't know why I'm even here. The pack opening machine can do this without me even being here at this point. He's so well-versed in this, so experienced. His knowledge, it's its bar none. It's its really top-notch. All right, do you want to see what our first pack is? What shall we, what shall we see for the first pack? What's it going to be? You want to roll for us? Are you going to remember, uh, remember to show everyone the 1 and 10 and 20? I'm not going to do it this week. I'm just going to let it be a surprise if we hit one. You're just going to have to take my word for it that the 1, 10, and 20 are a little bit better. The 17, I'm hoping we hit 17. That's a particularly sweet pack that I want to get into. But uh, all four of those are really nice packs. And any of those numbers, really any of these packs are going to be fun. Though We always have a good time when dorking with dice. The one thing I would add is it's all vintage and it's all hockey and football. Yeah. That's what we need to know. That's it. We're all set. Let's see what our first pack is. It is an eight. An eight. All right, I know where the number 10 one is. It is right there. So this is nine, and this is eight. It is score, 1991 hockey. You get 15 cards in here, and I think there is a possibility of an autograph in here, though I can't remember who it is. I want to say it's... I want to say it's Bobby Orr, but I can't recall. Hopefully we'll pull it, and then we'll know. I have been pulling a lot of autographs lately, so Fresh you never know. Bag. That's right. Those wrappers are akin to the material used in manufacturing trash bags. There's no question about it. Pack Opening Machine makes light work of that. And we start off with Jeff Courtnall of the Canucks. Shout out to Rob at Bucks and Six, who is a huge Canucks fan. His son made Grugu, who is in the background there, Grogu. I uh, will proceed forward. Dino Cicerelli. I don't think Dino Cicerelli is a Hall of Famer, but he was a very good player for the North Stars and the Cap. Steve Iserman. Now there is a Hall of Famer. That's a good pack. Courtnall, Cicerelli, and Iserman. I'll take those guys on my team any day. That's a nice one. Put that in the wolf layer. Thomas Sandstrom. Good player there, too, with the Kings. Dave Andrichuk. And we got a Head Belfour. Man, this is an awesome pack. We are pulling great cards out of here. Eddie Belfour, of course, with the uh, Blackhawks. Nice sideways card well, of that Hall of Famer. I rolled a good pack. You did roll a good pack. Thank you so much. Doug Bodger and a uh, top prospect card of Chris Govideris. Jeff Sanderson, top prospect card. Mike Sillinger, top prospect card. And then Chris Dahlquist. Doug Crossman, longtime NHLer there. Peter Ng. From the Leafs, Glenn Healy, another goalie there, and Dave Capuano from the Canucks. We started with a Canucks player, and we ended with one, too. I'll put him on the top. Why not? That was a good pack, too, in the Wolf Lair and several others that I may co-op for myself as well. All right, pack number two. What's it going to be? It is going to be pack five. All right, that's two, three, four, and five is Fleer Football 1991. So we started off with a hockey and then we get 
a football. So I that's pretty if sweet. We're gonna do a pattern: hockey, football, hockey, football, hockey, football. That would be awesome if if we do a pattern like that. I may just say let's keep rolling until we break the pattern, and maybe we'll open like ten packs or something. <laughs> That would, oh, that would be amazing. So you can get a Pro Visions card, an All Pro Limited Edition card. All of those could be in this 14 card pack of Fleer 1991 football. And it is from Three Good Nerds. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Justin, for supplying us with this pack. 3GN is my code for Three Good Nerds. It is an uncrackable cipher, I know, but that is it. Thank you so much, Justin. Three Good Nerds is a great channel. If you have not visited it, I hope you will. There are indeed three nerds who operate that channel, and they are better than good. They are great. I think it should be three great nerds, but I've been saying that for a while, and Justin just doesn't seem to take my advice, but then nobody really does. All right, Pack Opening Machine has gone to work and extracted the cards, and here we are with Fleer 1991 football Bill Fralick from the Falcons starts off this pack for us. Oh, you're going to grab that one. Awesome. Gil Fennerty from the Saints. James Thornton, the Bears tight end there doing some blocking. We got uh, Derek Fenner and Jerome Brown from the Eagles. We got It Ernest... looks like he's making a penalty. Kind of does, actually. Yeah. Tripping, maybe. Ernest Givens, very good wide receiver for the Oriole or Oilers there. I'm thinking Orioles because that's what I collect, but Oilers there. Pete Stoyanovich, longtime kicker for several teams, including the Dolphins. We got Jeff Criswell and Gil Bird, Chargers. Chris Dolman, very good defensive lineman for the Vikings. Chris Dolman had a long career for them. Dave Treadwell there for the Broncos. Albert Bentley. And uh, what else do we have here? We got Donald Evans and uh, Rob Burnett finishes off that pack. I did not put any in the Wolf Lair, but the pack opening machine did get the claw out and claim some of them for himself, which is always a good thing to see. All right, so far we've gone hockey, football, and now our third pack should also be hockey. See what you can do for us, pack opening machine. What's it going to be? It is going to be pack 18. All right, let's see what that is. 20, 19, 18 is football. All right, well, that's all right. it goes hockey, football, football, hockey. That would be an interesting pattern as well. Yeah, that would be very interesting. We can see if that plays out. This is 1990 Tops Football, and we will get a special 1,000-yard club card in here, especially if we can get this in focus, then it's really special. There it is. So we can look for that glossy card in there. That'll be sweet. There'll also be a very old piece of bubblegum in here. Pack opening machine. Find us some good cards, if you will, sir. And some bad bubble gum. <laughs> no question about that. Ooh. There it goes on the floor. All Ooh. right. Well, That's I'm glad it went on the floor and not uh, not in your mouth, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see. Wow. Wow. That is an awesome card to start off with. One of the greatest linebackers of all time, Lawrence Taylor. That is a great card. Really like that one. Beautiful, beautiful card. That's definitely going in the wolf lair. Man, that is a fantastic pull. Very happy to get that. Ken Norton, good linebacker there for the Cowboys. And shout out again to Justin at Three Good Nerds. He's a big Cowboys fan, as I recall. Webster Slaughter, good wide receiver for the Browns back then. Steve Wisniewski. And Myron Goyton from the Giants. That's a super rookie card of that gentleman. It looks like he's smiling. He looks like he's sort of up to something. Doesn't yeah. he look like he's kind of got that, like, I'm going to play a trick on somebody look. Jim Arnold, the punter, and Eric Martin, who looks like he is on the receiving end of that trick that was being played. He doesn't look happy about it at all. He's giving the cameraman some side eye there. There is our 1,000-yard club card that we were promised. It's James Brooks running back for the Bengals. And we got uh, Kevin Fagan. Vaughn Johnson, good linebacker there. And another super rookie card of Andre Risen. That's a pretty good card, actually. And you can see up here it says, Now with Falcons, now right with up there. Falcons. So he was traded, and they are acknowledging that. But uh, he is still in the Colts colors there. So uh, interesting, Andre Risen rookie. That's one I have not seen. Keith Jackson, not, not the uh, announcer, but the tight end for the Eagles. And we got uh, Tracy Rocker there. Bill Freilich, who I think we got in the first pack. Didn't we get Freilich in the first pack? I think we did. Who are you taking? Yeah. Freilich? You going to check for me? Oh, there's a sweet card. Mark Rippon. Can't get enough of those. Man, do I get a lot of Mark Rippon cards. I don't know what's up with that. William Howard finishes off that pack. And i got to see if we got a Freilich in the first pack, because I am that kind of 
curious, somewhat obsessive person. I think I took it. You took the Freilich? See? Let's see. You did, Bill Freilich. All right. Show them both up here at the same time so people can see that we are on some sort of a weird Freilich tear, getting nothing but uh, Bill Freilich cards in every pack of football that we open. There you go. All right. Pack opening machine. Two Bill Freilichs go to the claw is what happened there. All right, POM, let's see our next pack. What's it going to be? Will it be hockey or football? It will be seven. pack seven, which uh, I think we've already opened one from the front. So I'm going to go four, five, six. That will make this seven? No, we already opened eight, I think. Okay. Yeah, we already opened All right, well, I see where 10 is, so that makes sense. Then that would be pack seven. Indeed, it is football again. Which is okay, because we opened a lot of hockey. I think it was last week or the week before yeah. that. I think we opened Whoa. all hockey last time. It was it was close to that. It may have just been like one football. So we got three footballs so far. We may do another pack after this. We'll see how it goes. If you're enjoying this episode, I hope that you will take just a moment to hit the like button. It makes a big difference for the channel, and I certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming out to the channel today and checking out Dorking with Dice with... Your hosts, Pack Opening Machine and CW Cardwolf. All right, you got Pete Stoyanovich. I think we got him in one of the other packs, too. That's very weird. We're getting a lot of repeats. Jay Schroeder, who has three arms in this picture. I'm quite alarmed by that. Yikes. That's strange. One here, one here, and one here. How does he have three arms? <laughs> what is up with that Pack That's Opening Machine? Crazy. I don't understand that. That's weird. Or unless this guy? You think it's a different guy? Yeah. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. And we did get two of the same Dolphins player. You're kidding. Two Pete Stoyanoviches as well. There they are. There's the evidence. Pack Opening Machine has done the research. Thank you very much for that. And they're still on the same team. Well, yeah, I think he played for the Dolphins for quite a while, and kickers do last kind of a long time in the NFL. There's Carl Banks, very good linebacker for the Giants. Merrill Hodge, for the Steelers, Willie Anderson, and Thurman Thomas, Hall of Famer there for the Bills. Shout out, as I always do, to Bills Mafia Cards, who opens very high-end stuff often on his channel and is a wonderful person and somebody you should check out, Bills Mafia Cards. If you haven't been over there already, Thurman Thomas goes into the Wolf Lair. Felix Wright, there's Derek Thomas. Wow, two Thomases, and the claw appears to be making its way towards Derek Thomas, and who could blame him? Derek Thomas, Hall of Famer. There's John Taylor, good wide receiver for the 49ers. I didn't like, know you liked the 49ers that much. Johnny Meads and Wilbur Marshall, good linebacker, certainly. David Fulcher and David Treadwell, two Davids in a row. We got a flip here, which I don't remember happening in Fleer 1990. That's weird. Burt Grossman and Donnell Thompson, the defensive lineman for the Colts, finished that one off. Running out of room here on the football side of the Magic Box. All right, let's see if we can get a hockey pack. So we can go with pack number five is 16. 16. All right. Well, I know where 17 is because it's a pack I was really hoping to open. It is that one. But instead, we will be opening 16, which is actually a pretty good pack in and of it's itself. Hockey. It is hockey. And it is OPG. So, a pattern. Yeah. Is there a pattern? Yeah, because it was hockey, football, football, football. Hockey. Hmm. Interesting. What? I'm not sure if there is a pattern or if you're just kind of inventing something there. What do you think? It's a pattern. Oh, okay. It's a pattern. All right. Hockey 1992, OPG, and you get uh, bubblegum in here, too. We can look forward to that. We also get a carte spéciale uh, l'intérieur. It means a special insert card will be inside. That's my French. Doesn't, doesn't it sound good? I think, yeah, I guess. <laughs> the piece of bubblegum's right here. I think you're correct in that, sir. Yes, you are. So we'll see what that gum looks like. Did you get all the other gum off the floor? Yeah. Oh, good. I don't. I don't want anybody. I don't want your little sister coming in here and picking that up. All it's right. In one piece at least. All right. Well, that's good. It hasn't crumbled. Oh, it has left piece. some uh, some special white residue on the uh, top card here. Special. Special. It is so special. There this it is. Gum is dusty. It is very and dusty. Hard. It is dusty and hard. All right. Here we go. Central Red Army. And uh, it's just the team card, and I don't know who that is on the front because it doesn't tell us, and I don't recognize the Russian gentleman, whoever that may be. So Central Red Army card gets the uh, gum dust on it, and then we can <laughs> proceed through here. Pierre Turgeon, good player there for the Sabres. 
Nice card. Mike Sillinger. Second Mike Sillinger we've gotten. I must check. I must check. I'm obsessed now with all of the duplicates we're getting. There it is. We got Mike Sillinger, top prospect, and he is back. Double Mike Sillinger. We, I don't know what's happening tonight. These these doubles, we only open in a few packs here, and yet we get all these doubles. I don't get it. Zarly Zalapis, Zalapsky. Zarly Zalapsky. There he is. And all his whaler's glory. Troy and Crowder. Also, they all start with the Zs. Yeah, as I know. Double Z there. Corey Millen gets the sideways card. Future NHLer of Valerie Kaminsky. And there he is. Uh, Hockey stick fight. Thing. Yeah, he's having some sort of checking there with the uh, Canadian national team member there. And we got uh, Darren Shannon. We got a sideways card of the New Jersey Devils who look completely nonplussed about playing hockey. They look utterly bored with the concept of they're about to step on the ice and play hockey. And honestly, this guy, is that a guy? I'm not sure. Whoever that, that is, looks... I'm not sure if that's a guy or a girl, but whatever it is, they don't look like they're excited to be there either. They don't look any more excited than the devils themselves. Or that, that is. guy. Yeah, that guy, exactly. I don't know what's going on there. This guy looks completely bored as well. Well, that's what you get. I guess when your home team is the Devils, you get people like that showing up in the crowd. This guy is checking his dental work. That guy, he's really uh, probing around in there trying to, I don't know, maybe he's got something stuck in his he's teeth. Like, That's what happens mm. at New Jersey Devils games. And we finish off with Mike Gartner, a right wing who I think could be a Hall of Famer. He might be. I'm really not sure. But anyway, we finally get another hockey pack. We're doing a nighttime episode for those of you who tune into this at some other time. It is a nighttime episode. And there's a lot of snow on the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back opening machine's pretty happy about that. I'm going to be doing some shoveling tomorrow. Not as excited about that, but we'll see how it goes. Do you want to do one more pack? Or are we all done? One more. One more pack. All right, here we go. By order of POM. One more pack. We still haven't hit any of our big packs. One, 10, 20, or even 17. I would love to hit that 17 pack. I'm so curious about it. All right, what do we got? 17! 17. <laughs> nice job. High five. All right. You guys have been sitting there thinking, what could be in the 17 spot? Why is Cardwolf so excited about it? Why does he want to open it so much? What's in there? What is it? This is it. This is it. It's stuck to That's another that. pack. I don't know why that is. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I know. I don't know why it's stuck to another pack. All right, so there we go. So, well, we, i got to show people what it I is know. before you open it. Let me show people what it is. This is Piece of History. is a hockey pack. And this this is a, just a cool set. It's from Upper Deck, and it came out. I'm actually not sure that this really qualifies. For, I think it came out in the early 2000s. Let me check. Yeah, it did come out. It came out in 2002. And I never do packs that are earlier than 1999, but I couldn't resist putting in there. I came across it in my collection this week, and I thought, man, those were fun cards. There's only five cards in here, only but uh, five? some sweet stuff. They're really cool cards. What do you see these? I think you're going to be pumped and excited to see these. If you've never seen them before, then uh, you're in for a treat here. Pack opening machine is going to work, and he has operated successfully. The cards are coming out of the pack. And they look pretty cool. So let's see what we have here. This is from Upper Deck Piece of History, which came out in 2022. And we start off with Chris Drury, which is not as exciting as a card you might think, but still really pretty cards from Upper Deck. Check out the uh, various foily accents. I'll show you the back of them as well. Same picture, but still a really nice design. I like these cards a lot. The thing I like about these the most, though, are the inserts, and they are at the back of the pack. So we will get to those in just a moment. But first, we'll check out Arter's Irby, piece of history card there from the Hurricanes. Black, brown? Yeah, I know. It's kind of like they're doing like a black and white with one color on there. It's, it's just a neat card. All right, so all the rest of these are inserts. So sit it's down. Just black and white and red. Black and white and red all over. Like, what's black and white and red all over? A sunburned zebra. <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard that one. <laughs> awesome. I th I thought I had heard it, but I forgot the end part. <laughs> I'm glad you forgot the end part. All right, so now sit down and just enjoy yourself for the next the next few cards because they're going to be beauties. This is Pavel Bure, which is awesome. This is awards collection insert, the Calder Trophy he won while with the Rangers. Sweet looking card that certainly will go into the Wolf Lair. And congratulations 
I have uh, pulled a very special savings card. I can log into UpperDeck.com and uh, select some e-cards if I want to do that. So that'll be that'll be enjoyable. I'll just get in my time machine, head back to 2002, and get on that and uh, get rid of that. Brent Johnson and Sean Burke finish things up. We did not get as many inserts as I remember getting out of these. I thought that you got like two or three base and two or three inserts. And that is not what happened. Probably this card screwed things up, is what I'm thinking. Anyway, Brent Johnson, Johnson and Sean Burke. The Pavel Bure card is sweet, though. I really like the inserts, and I thought that there was usually more than one in a pack. But uh, nonetheless, that's a really cool card, and I'm happy that we got to open that pack. Thank you, Pack Opening Machine, for your excellent rolling skills tonight. In the Wolf Lair, we've got Iserman, Belfour... Lawrence Taylor and Thurman Thomas, plus that uh, sweet Pavel Bure card I just pulled. That's a really nice haul. Happy with that, and I'll probably pull a few more cards out of these. Why not? Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate every one of you guys, and uh, I hope that you have, even if you don't have good plans for the weekend, I hope you do something fun or relaxing, whatever it is you want to do. Pack opening machine and I will be frolicking about in the snow. It's going to be a good time. All right, I'll see you back here on Monday for a Mail Day episode, and that's going to be a good time, too. Thank you so much, and as always, happy collecting.